Nay! 89. Me! My! Mo! Mo! Dr. Jack Thomas is learning to speak again. Dr. Thomas was a general practitioner who specialized in internal medicine, spending much of his life treating patients in Long Beach. Now he finds himself seeking treatment for Parkinson's. Me! Parkinson's is a neurological disorder that, among other things, affects a person's ability to speak and walk due to the lack of production of dopamine in the brain. The onset of Parkinson's is gradual, and as the dopamine declines, the illness gets worse. Patients typically have tremors, a slowness in their walking, and their voice begins to get weaker and weaker. Sometimes patients lose their voice entirely. I noticed that it was getting worse and worse. My voice was fading, for want of a better word. It was quiet. Um, people were saying, what? And I was annoyed at people asking me what, because when you have a problem with your voice with Parkinson's, you're the last to realize it's happening. A few months ago, you could barely hear what Jack was saying. This is how he sounds now. I need to talk to you. Good. Who is on the phone? How are you feeling today? The reason Jack's voice sounds so much better these days is because of the innovative speech therapy program he's part of and the therapist working with him. Let's hear your CEO voice. All right. All right. Deborah Drysdale is a speech and language pathologist trained in a relatively new two-part speech therapy approach. It's called Speak Out and Loud Crowd, being practiced here at Orange Coast Memorial Medical Center in Orange County. The program was developed by the nonprofit Parkinson Voice Project. It focuses on use of volume, and the person with Parkinson's just needs to focus on their volume, the loudness of their voice. So we start the lesson with an exercise. It's called May Me My Mo Moo, and it's like this. May! And we try to get between 85 and 90 decibels on the sound meter. After the may, me, my, mo, moo, we do the sustained ah. Go. Ah. Okay, stop. Drysdale explains that in traditional speech therapy, the goal is to get the patient to speak automatically without requiring any cues or prompting from the speech pathologist. In other words, speech should be a very automatic behavior. Not so for Parkinson's patients who often lose that automatic ability. With speak out, the goal is for patients to regain their speaking ability. And then with loud crowd, the goal is to maintain that speech in this group therapy setting. Marcia. The premise Marshall. of speak out and loud crowd is to get these patients to speak with intent. This means activating a part of their brain that does not require dopamine. Drysdale does this with a series of one-on-one -on -one speech exercises and daily homework. And while this is just a one-month course, the labor-intensive program is practiced over a lifetime once the patient graduates. Most of the people that I see with Parkinson's do have some inkling of voice. But what has happened, that voice has caused them to be disengaged from their interactions with their family and with their friends and with society. If you were to lose your voice, how would you survive? Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. I'd have to, if I was, I never thought I could survive this disease to this point. Being a speech pathologist, this has become a gift. <laughs> Why are you getting so emotional over this? Because. <clears throat> are you filming? That's okay. I'm okay. just. This is interesting. Okay. Why? Why? Why do you get so emotional over this? You're not the I'm patient. Not, I'm not the patient, but I'm the therapist cheering them on. I didn't expect to get this gift to be able to be a therapist, helping a person with Parkinson's restore their voice.